Good afternoon, math uh, wizards. We're going to uh, tackle our problem set, lesson 14 today, and uh, let's just dig right in. And we're once again, we're measuring the area of two rectangles and then adding the totals together to get the area of the in, uh, entire shape. So it says, find the um, area of each of the following figures. All um, figures are made up of rectangles. So you'll notice we don't have some information about the sides. And of course we need to multiply the sides, the length and the width, in order to get the area. So let's figure that out first. Notice we don't have a number up here. We need to label that. Well, you we do have this information down here, that we have three centimeters and an additional two centimeters. So three plus two would be five centimeters, and I put five centimeters right there. What about this side? I have three here, but nothing here. But look, there's two right there, so three centimeters plus two centimeters. This side in total will be five centimeters. But I'm just gonna put two centimeters right there, because that's what we don't know, right? So now we have enough information to figure out the area of each of these shapes, right? Two times five, what's two times five? That's 10 square centimeters right there and then this shape down here three times three we go this side and this side three times three is nine so we have nine square centimeters and then we just need to add them up the total right here is 10 plus 9 is 19 square centimeters okay you see how that worked we figured out that this was five because we did three plus two 2 times 5 is 10, we have 10 square centimeters there, and then we just multiply these two sides, 3 times 3 is 9, so we have 9 square centimeters. All right, let's go on to our next one, and we'll notice that we have um, 4 meters here, 1 meter there, 1 meter there, mm -hmm. and then we have 2 meters here and 1 meter over there. This one's a little more confusing, but we can figure this out. So let's do the first one, 2 uh, centimeters and... Um, one, excuse me, two meters and one meter. It's a total of three meters, right? So we put three, excuse me, three meters up here. All right, so from here to here is three meters because we know this is two meters and that's one meter. So let's take a look at how we could figure this out. What's a good strategy to take? These are off on their own, right? So, hmm, maybe we can cut those off like this. So we can see that this is one meter by one meter. So one times one is one meter. So we can put this equals one square meter. And the same here, one times one would be one square meter. Okay, but now I don't need to keep this at three meters because it's only two meters. We've, we've measured that part off. So I'm gonna change that back down to two meters. So we have four times two, four times two, either side we can multiply. Four times two would be eight square meters. And then we just need to add them up. Eight plus one plus one, eight, nine, and 10. The total is 10 square meters, all right? Let's look at number three. The figure below shows a small rectangle and a big rectangle. There's a small rectangle and a big rectangle. Find the area of the shaded part of the figure. So this is the shaded part, all right? We need to figure out a lot on this one here. So I know that, uh, well, let's start over. Mm, let's start, let's start with this. Altogether, this is six meters, right? From this point to this point. And this point to this point is five meters, correct? And when we have one meter here, one meter here, and two meters here. So a lot is going on that we have to figure out. So let's get started with this, okay? We could take a look and go, hmm, six meters here. So what's this length here? This would be two meters, okay? And we could try to figure out this section here as well too. We've got a couple of ways we can approach this. A lot is going on on this problem. So let's go ahead and give it our best shot to see how we can determine the area of the shaded, the shaded area, okay? 
First off, let's just figure out what the total would be without if this was still part of it. It'd be six times five. It'd be 30 meters, right? Six times five, the whole shape, including that, equals 30 meters squared. So if we could figure out what this is, then we could subtract that from 30. Could we not? Yes, we could. So I know from here to here is what we don't have, but it's two plus three. So this would be two meters. See how that works? Two meters plus one meter is three meters, four or five meters is the whole. So, so from this line to this line is two meters, right? So now we gotta figure out what is it from here to here, and we can figure that out, okay? So let's take a look. We have um, a total of six meters. We have two meters here, right, and one meter here. So to get to six, we have two plus one is three. We'd be three meters. So we have two meters by three meters. So we can see two times three is six, and we know that this is six meters squared, okay? So then we just take 30 meters squared and subtract the 6, and we have 24 square meters. Okay, we're going to practice some more with this. And let's look at number 3. It says, a paper rectangle has a length of 6 inches and a width of, excuse me, 8 inches. So let's go ahead and make that right now. We have six inches by eight inches, okay? So six by eight. Okay, then it says a square with a side length of three inches was cut out of it. What is the area of the remaining paper? So we took a square with a side length of three inches and cut it out of it. Let's just say we cut it out here. So three inches, right? What's three times three? Nine. So this be nine square inches in there because we cut that out. It's three by three, so it's nine square inches. So you're looking at this going, wow, how am I going to figure out the area of this? Because it is kind of confusing. But I'm going to make a little note and say that this is nine square inches. So what we need to do is multiply the length and width. Six times eight is 48. And we just subtract that nine. So 48 minus nine we get 18 minus 9 is 9, and bring down the 3 to get 39. So our total is 39 square inches. See how that worked? Originally it was 6 inches by 8 inches, so 48. We cut out a 3 by 3 square, which is 9 square inches, so 48 minus 9 is 39. Alrighty, let's do this one right here. It says Tila and Evan. Both have paper uh, rectangles measuring six centimeters by nine centimeters. Tina cuts a three centimeter by four centimeter rectangle out of hers, and Evan cuts a two centimeter by six centimeter rectangle out of his. Tina says she has more paper left over. Uh, Evan says, uh, says they have the same amount. Who is correct? Show your work below. Wow, a lot going on here. So we're going to start off with Tina, uh, Tila, and Evan. They both have six by nine. This will be Tila's. This will be Evan's. And they're six inches by nine inches. Excuse me, six centimeters. By nine centimeters. So we know all we have to do is multiply the two together to find this, the uh, area of the rectangle. So six times nine is 54. So they're both 54. But Tila cuts a three centimeter by 12 centimeter rectangle out of hers. So this is three by four. What's three by four? Three times four is 12. So I'm going to put 12 square centimeters has been cut out. Now this fellow over here, he, uh, Evan, does two by six. 
What's 2 times 6? 12 square centimeters. What's the answer going to be? Well, we can take a look at here. They're both 6 by 9, and they both subtract 12. So they're going to be equal. 6 times 9 is 54. We just subtract the 12 that we cut out. And there's 2 and 4. So we can say they both have an area of 42 square centimeters. Okay, make sure you're doing your Imagine Learning 25 minutes a day, as well as your um, IXL math 25 minutes a day. Thank you so much uh, for joining me. I miss you all very much. And uh, thank you for those of you who are doing the quizzes afterwards. And I uh, really appreciate your, your dedication to learning, even though we don't go to Hamilton right yet. So have a wonderful day. Stay healthy and safe. Bye-bye now.